South Wales in the UK may be more appropriate here. After a week of sun worshipping, the WRC crews are faced with dismal, damp and wet conditions on day one of Rally Australia and face unknown territory in exceptionally tricky conditions. The opening three tests proved problematic for many drivers and the Ford Abu Dhabi World Rally team get some battle scars along the way. Miko Hirvonen and Yamo Leitinen hit a post on the opening stage whilst Yari Matti Latfala and Mika Antela spin their Ford Fiesta RS WRC on the slippery, slimy surface. Many drivers were falling by the wayside, including world champion Sebastian Loeb, who rolled his car and retired from day one. Going into the midpoint service, Miko and Yamo were in second overall, with Yari Matti and Mika in third. Around maybe three k's in, there was um, slow left, slippy left, and left, and then immediate right over the crest. But they went to the edge of the road, and there was something like wood stamp or steel post. I hit that, and the car spun 180 degrees and I went backwards to the forest so I had to, to get the car like back for, um, reverse and go forward and then I managed to get back to the road but it was stressful driving after that. With the weather conditions totally different to the dry recce were the pace notes altered in any way during the first run? Most of the changes are because we are here first time and We've done it only twice in the recce speed and now first time through the stages in the rally speed you always find places that, oops, that was a too optimistic base note or something like that. The afternoon saw the rain ease but the stages refused to dry out and became muddy and increasingly difficult. Rally leader Sebastian Ogier retired after hitting a tree on the first stage of the afternoon, leaving the way clear for Miko and Yamo to take the lead of the rally, and also opening up the possibility of a fight back in the championship title hunt, with two of their main rivals now sidelined. Miko and Yamo ended the day seven seconds in the lead over teammates Yari Matti and Mika. It had been a gruelling day, but the Ford boys had battled through. Yeah, it's, today it's been extreme day. These conditions I have never seen in a world rally. Such a slippy places and such a slippy uh, stages. Now Citroen have had a pretty tough day out there today, but it puts Ford in a really strong position, not only here at the rally, but possibly in the championship as well, to fight back for the manufacturers. How are you feeling about that? Well, let's say that uh, we don't have possibility to lose one car. We need the both cars now to the finish. Well, I'm, I'm so happy we are here. We didn't hit any, any trees or anything. It was such a difficult day. Uh, I don't know if the position best to be right now, but it depends so much of the conditions tomorrow. So uh, at least one day is behind and now it's two more to go. A new day and a new weather front sweeps in across Coffs Harbour. This is the Australian weather most of the service park had travelled so far to see. Yari Matti and Mika were flying through the stages and quickly took the lead of the event, going on to set four faster stage times across the morning loop. Mika and Yamo dropped to second. All was looking good for the team, but it seems the focus of rallying had distracted Yari Matti from remembering his co-driver's birthday. I know how old he is, but uh, <laughs> I didn't remember his birthday. <laughs> Actually, I, I walked. Um, I was looking the websites, and uh, I noticed that before this rally, that Mika's birthday is going to be during the rally. But of course, when you are so excited about the race itself, I forgot it. The one thing about rallying, you never can tell what's going to happen. It's all unpredictable, and the the whole season has been uh, unpredictable. Maybe not working out uh, for us, and for once, uh, it's gone the right way. And. Uh, Fingers crossed we want to keep it that way until we finish here tomorrow night. In the afternoon, there was a no-risk strategy from the Ford duo and they maintained the 1-2, with Yari Matti leading by 22.7 seconds over Miko.
After a successful day, it was time to wind down and relax. Humour is ever present between Miko and his engineer Tom. Yeah. We're going to have Miko asking you questions. No, I don't know what to ask. You don't know what to ask your engineer. So with one more day to go, it's really important that you guys complete the rally and complete the rally with a Ford One Two. It's important that we really connect. Bond together. Do you yeah, bond? Absolutely. Yeah. You are as one. As one, yeah. yeah. Share the bed and everything. <laughs> yeah, we got 45 minutes uh, service tonight. Just. Uh, checking everything over for tomorrow. We've had a look at the data already uh, while the car's in the regroup part for me, so um, everything's looking okay. Um, no big jobs on tonight, just routine stuff, and um, hopefully everything will be good for tomorrow. <laughs> You're the one that's got to go out there and drive the car, of course, but how's it felt out there today? Has it felt good? Yeah, it's been feeling really good. Maybe we choose this, uh, to do soft spring in the morning because I was expecting it to be a lot more damp and wet uh, as it really was, so made a bit of a mistake over there but otherwise it's been running like a dream so thank you very much it's been a fantastic You're day welcome. day three sunday six stages remain yari mati leads miko is second and khalid al kasimi is set for his best finish he lies in fifth position overall going into the day Oh, it's for, up to now it's a fantastic feeling, but uh, I don't want to be exaggerating about it. It's still it's a long day, and it's one of those corners can have a surprise. Even if you go off a spin or have a flat tire, you can lose everything over here. Uh, it's a long day. Um, I'm trying to enjoy every stage, of, uh, every stage with the right balance. So uh, let us see by the end of the rally. It's the 11th of September 2011, and today the team remembers 10 years ago when the 9-11 attacks happened in America. It's a huge significance for us, but first and foremost as an American company, but also as a global company with employees and, and uh, customers and partners all around the world. And it's important to remember a, a world event of that significance that happened uh, 10 years ago today. As the day gets underway, there is a sense of anticipation. The Ford Abu Dhabi World Rally team haven't had a 1-2 since Sardinia in 2009. The morning stages go well and Yari Mati still leads Miko as the final three get underway. The team are keen to move Miko into the lead. The points from a win would help his challenge in the Drivers' Championship. Yari Mati slows on the long penultimate stage to let his teammate take the lead and they safely complete the final power stage in positions one and two. Khalid al Qasimi secured his best result to date, fifth overall. Yeah, it's been fantastic, I have to say. I mean, uh, we've had a, everybody knows we've had a difficult season, we've been so competitive and lost rallies by such a small margin. But uh, to come here and have a, a dream result after what we've had, then it's, uh, I would say it's a big relief, but I think uh, we just feel now that, you know, we've actually got the result that we probably should have had earlier on in the season. It was not my time this time. Um, it was more, more about the team, and we need to work together with the team. Uh, we have had difficult times. What is important myself, I know that I would have been able to win it. And that gives me the confidence and, and, and enjoyment. Uh, it's no point to be angry. Of course, I'm disappointed because I wanted to win. But no angry because it's also a team teamwork. And um, it, that's what is needed to, to win manufacturer title. It definitely brings things a lot closer. But... Of course, it's two tarmac rallies and, and one on gravel, so um, we need to work really hard now to be able to find against Citroën on, on France and Spain, but we are planning to do it, so uh, hopefully it boosts the whole team now and uh, we find more speed and, and we are able to fight. Miko now moves into second position in the Drivers' Championship, just 15 points behind leader Sebastian Loeb. The team leave the Southern Hemisphere with a renewed energy to continue the challenge in the World Rally Championship.